This tutorial will cover how to import quiz questions into a Desire to Learn quiz, take a random set of those questions and display them for the student, and randomize the answer order for the student in the quiz. This tutorial assumes that you've already learned how to create a quiz bank from a Word document and then run that through the conversion tool to create a CSV file for importing into Desire to Learn. If you haven't done that tutorial already or learned how to do that, you'll need to learn that step before you attempt this. Once you have your CSV file, you'll want to log into your course. And once in your course, go to Assessments and Quizzes. At the top of your quizzing page, you'll see three options, Manage Quiz, Question Library, and Statistics. First, you're going to go to Question Library, and you're going to import your questions into the library so you have them to create a quiz. So once in the Question Library, you're going to press New, Section, and that's going to essentially create a folder for you. So I'm going to call this one Nursing Quiz, scroll down, and save it. And you can see this yellow colored folder indicates that I have Nursing Quiz is a section and when I click on that it's going to take me into the Nursing Quiz section and I'm going to import here. So my import source is going to be a Desire to Learn text format file. My source file is going to be the CSV file that I have. So I'll scroll through here and find the CSV file right here. Double click it and save. You can see now that it's pulled in my quiz questions. So once I've done that, I'm now going to go up to the top here and click on my course name, which will take me back to the course homepage. From there, I'm going to press Assessments again and Quizzes. And here, under Manage Quizzes, I'm going to create a new quiz. We'll call this quiz Nursing Quiz. And I'll put it in my category of quizzes. And I've already created a grade item in my gradebook. If I hadn't, I could add a grade item right here. And I'm tie that to the grade item. And then I'm going to check these two checkboxes, one called Auto Export to Grades and the other one called Automatic Grade. And that's just going to ensure that when I'm when my students take the quiz that these grades automatically go over to the gradebook. So then I'll scroll down to the bottom here and press Save. So everything will be saved. My quiz was created successfully. Now I'm going to go over to the Restrictions tab. And this is going to be where I activate the quiz. So if you're doing this at the beginning of the semester and you want to manually activate your quizzes, you may not want to do this step at this point. Or you can activate the quiz already and then change your start date. So for now, I'm going to say that it's today at 11.18 a.m. But I may change this to say later in the semester. Uh, if I'm doing this, say, in January, I may wish to start to set up all of my quizzes at the beginning of the semester and release them weekly. However you want to do that is is up to you. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and press save again. If you accidentally press save and close instead of just save, you'll just need to go back into your quiz. So once I've got my properties and restrictions set up, I can also choose any of my other options that I'd like if I want to set number of attempts allowed. So let a student try this three different times, let's say, and take their highest attempt. So as you can see, I accidentally pressed Save and Close there. It takes me back out to Manage Quizzes. All I need to do is press on Nursing Quiz again, and I'm right back in here where I was. So I have my attempt set. Now I'm going to move over to my layout and questions, and this is going to be where I'm going to import my questions and randomize them. So you can see currently this quiz is empty. So I'm going to press Add Edit Questions. And in here, if I wanted to include all 10 questions in this nursing quiz, I would just press Import, choose that section, and import the whole thing. 
but since I want to randomize that I'm going to press new and I'm going to choose random section. I'm going to call this random 5. Scroll down and I'm going to press save. Now you'll see that the folder is purple instead of yellow and this indicates that this is a random section. So once I click on random 5 I'm going to say import. In this pull down menu I should see my nursing quiz, which I do. If you've created a lot more banks of questions, you'll see a lot more here. But when I click on that, it shows me the questions that are in this bank. So I can click this little button here next to the yellow folder and it will select all of my questions. So I want this quiz to pull from all ten of these. If there was one or two that I didn't want, I could uncheck those. Likewise, if there were only one or two that I did want, I could uncheck the big box up here and just check a couple. So I'll choose all of them and I'll press save. Now, once I've done that, it gives me two important options. One, the most important, is questions per attempt. So I'm going to say five. So every time a student attempts the quiz, they will get five random questions. And I'm going to change my points value to two points each and I'll just save that. So my quiz is now set up that if a student, if I were to press done over here and release it to the students, a student would come in, they would see five random questions from the 10 question bank, they would be able to take that and save it. Now the other part of this is if I want my question answers to be randomized as well as the questions. So I want random order to show up A, B, C, D, um, showing up a different way each time. I'm going to need to do that at the question level. Unfortunately there's not a way to do this across the entire quiz in Desire to Learn right now. So I'm going to click on this question. I'm going to scroll down and find randomize options. I'm going to check that box, scroll down further, and press save. Now this is going to ask me if I want to use this in more than one place or it's going to let me know that the question is used in more than one place do I want to save the randomized answer feature and I do want to do that so I'm going to check the little box up here that's going to check everything on the page and then I'm going to press save so now I'm going to move on to question two do the same thing scroll down randomize options scroll all the way to the bottom save it check this little box and save again and on to question three, we'll do the same thing, and so on as you move through all of the questions that you've added to your quiz. Once you've done all of that, you're going to press the Done button, and that's going to take you back out. You can confirm here, choose five from ten. That looks correct to me. So I'm going to go down and save and close. Once I've saved and closed here, I could go to my nursing quiz, I can go to the little arrow that's here and go down to preview and it's now loaded here so you can see everything is set. I can start my quiz I'm going to get the front page of my quiz here so it's letting me know there are five questions over here I can scroll down and see that indeed there are five questions and for some of these questions it's going through and randomizing my question order. So you can see that it's doing that because I used an ABCD order here in when I created the questions and clearly this is out of order whereas this one is right in order. So that may be a reason that you don't want to put an ABCD or 1234 on your answers when you're randomizing them as you create each quiz. So then I could submit my quiz and I would be all set to go.